Hello, my fellow Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Today I have here uh, Eventus Serpilius Ultra from Bakugan uh, Geogon Rising. Uh, now, this here in Canada I did find uh, like a week or two ago. Uh, for whatever reason, this wave was only released. Um, was only released in like superstores, uh, which is a, a type of grocery store here in Canada. Unfortunately, it did not get to Walmart or Toys R Us or anything. Why? I don't know. Uh, when I did go that one time, I only found two other Bakugan uh, in this wave on the shelf. Uh, that being Fenica, <laughs> Fenica Ultra. Uh, no, I found a Toranoid. I found Toranoid there, and then I also found the Elemental uh, Serpilius Ultra, surprisingly. Uh, so I do have those other Bakugan to open up at some point. Uh, but now I have the Ventus Serpilius Ultra, so let's go ahead take him out of the packaging here. Ah, it's my first Serpilius Ultra Bakugan. So I'm pretty excited to see how the heck he works and everything. He looks pretty cool. Okay. Alright, so let's just go ahead and open up his card pack here, see what the heck he comes with tape off. Okay. Figure this out. Comes with instructions or a manual for the game. Don't really need that. Instructions on how to close them. We'll take a look at that later because I have no idea how to do that. Um, let's see here. For cores, first off, it comes with two green fists, one of plus 150 B power, plus two damage, and one of a plus three damage. And for cards, let's see, he comes here with gate number 26, uh, so Pyrus negative three, Aquas five, Ventus three, Chaos zero, Orlus four, and Darkus six. Here he is, Serpilius Ultra. Looking really, really cool there. His artwork, he's down by the, the docks or pier or whatever. Uh, so two green fists, base of 600 B power, one damage. Uh, gets a green fist, that's an extra 600 B power, so uh, 1350 in two, or fifth, uh, 1350 in three, uh, which isn't too bad. That's a, that's a decent amount. Uh, then we have Glacial Glare. Uh, 5 energy cost, back of action, minus 100 B power, and scan. Okay, uh, so that's that. Looking at Sir Pilius himself here, looks nice. Let's, he does seem to have some manual parts here, so being his uh, feet. So let's go ahead and bring those out. So we have that, and then I think that's pretty much it here for manual parts, it looks like. Oh, okay, it looks really cool. I'm excited to open up the elemental I also found along with him. Let's try and get lighting here. Good. Let's take these out. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, back. Uh, B power is here. Back of your spots for him are here, here, and then on the tip of his tail there. Anywho. Um. So let's just. Look at his instructions, figure out how the heck we want to close this guy. I have no idea how to close him. Uh, so let's see here. Having the stuff in the back come inwards. That go in, or those go down in. The head, then the tail, and then the manual feet. So let's see here. So these. So the feet. Go in. Those close up. Then it's the head. That goes back. Tail, and then make sure the feet guys are in. Okay, that's not, not too bad. It's not too bad there. Um, let's go ahead and put out the back of cores, and let's roll them out. We're going to roll them forwards, backwards on a side. We're going to roll them out three times just to see how he rolls. Uh, just to see which way is better if you're going to be using him. Alright, so forwards here. Alright. 
We got the arrow pointing this way. All right, so three, two, one. Deku Gumbro. That was going forwards. Um, he didn't entirely land on his feet. He kind of landed on his head, but he did pick up the back of court nonetheless. Um, so that works out pretty well. So let's take this up, put all that in. The head. And the tail there. All right, so let's go backwards just to see how that works. All right. Okay, he did open up that way as well, just facing the other direction. All right, now let's go ahead and roll him out on his side. See if that's a major difference or not. So far, it doesn't. there's not really any bad way to roll this guy out. All right, let's find the side. Bring him on back. Let him roll. All right, he actually did manage to land nicely, uh, rolling on his side there, so that's pretty cool. All right, so for our Serpilius Ultra Bakugan, it doesn't entirely matter which direction you're rolling him out. He'll still, to, well, my testing, he still will pick up the core anyway. Uh, so that's always nice. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much going to be here for this video on the Ventus Serpilius Ultra uh, Bakugan. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please indeed leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. Um, let me know if you picked up this guy. Um, if you like him, you use him on a team. I think he's a pretty cool design. Is he the one I want to use on my team? Probably not. There's other higher B-Power Bakugan out there uh, for Ventus. But he is really cool. Really cool. Um, yeah, please make sure you are subscribed and turn that there bell notification on so you know when my next video goes up. Until next time, my fellow Bakugan Battle Brawlers, I'm Batting Brawling Collecting. Till next time, sayonara.